Uh, so three days to go before the most <laughs> magical four minutes of our lives, right? I'm telling you, I'm so ready for Tuesday to get here, but I will tell you, we are really, really hopeful that Monday's going to work in our favor. Things are looking mm. pretty good right now. I'm not okay. one to jinx anything. Tomorrow, eh, not looking as good. All right. <laughs> I'll just put that out there. Scattered snow, some mix to begin your day. We could have some complications for the morning commute. We'll be in the 40s later on, and I do think we'll have some peaks of sun, especially late afternoon into the early evening, but we still can't rule out those isolated chances for some showers. What's new versus what's changed? Well, everybody, we are dealing with that morning commute wet snow mix. And yes, it could complicate things. Visibility could become an issue, and we might have some slushy accumulation on some road surfaces. But it does look like those minor accumulations will really be focused earlier rather than later. The sun, even behind the cloud cover, is very strong this time of the year. So as soon as that sun comes up, it's going to react with the pavement and that should help to alleviate any possibility of slushy buildup. But the problem is it takes a little while for that sun to get up higher in the sky. At the same time, we have some snow that's coming down. Now, I do think this will be a slushy snow, so we're not talking pretty, pretty flakes, uh, but it does look like that next wave of energy will start to work in overnight, and the timing of it looks to get in here probably about 5, 6, 7 a.m. That said, we have some rain that has been popping up, and I'm sure if you uh, checked in with us uh, in our first weather just a few minutes ago, there wasn't as much rain as what we have on here right now. And where we're seeing these yellows, I doubt that that is actually rain drops. I think those are wet snowflakes. They show up a little bit differently on the radar. So we are seeing this dropping into northeast Ohio, so likely a rain snow mix already to begin, beginning to develop. And we'll likely see it changing over more and more to snow than rain as temperatures overnight in the atmospheric column continue to cool. So your National Design Mart hour by hour forecast, this is a snapshot of 6 a.m and you can see we have this slush that is stuck over a good chunk of the area and it's not just the lakeshore and primary snowball areas it's farther south too i think uh, by and large the heaviest possibilities of the snow especially those impactful visibility snows will probably be closer to the city but all of that begins to fade south 7 8 a.m and hopefully that will move through really quickly and we will not have any big complications on the commute matt will be keeping a very close eye on this all morning long starting at 4 30 on go so you can uh, count on that after the morning as we move to midday you can see we still deal with some scattered showers air temperatures are in the upper 30s so i think we will be predominantly rain with some snow mixing in at this point and we're going to continue on with this rain snow mix through much of the afternoon then tomorrow evening a lot of the energy moves out and we start to see some breaks in the overcast. That sets us up for a nice Friday night. I know it's cold, but at least we won't be dealing with tons of rain or snow here in Northeast Ohio. And Saturday isn't looking too shabby for us either. How much snow is coming? It's not a lot. And anything that does fall, and if we were to get some of those slushy accumulations, it should melt off very quickly. But again, changeable conditions are changeable conditions. So just be advised for tomorrow morning. Now, we showed you this a few minutes ago. The cloud cover trend is looking less. Our confidence that there will be less cloud cover is actually growing. So this is great news. A storm system that's gonna be the problem child is sitting out here in in the plain states and as it continues to move to the east a big shield of rain will spread toward ohio this is sunday at noon by monday morning that rain moves in but then it moves out. We should have a nice dry slice of this storm system that rotates in. We probably will have some cloud cover in Northeast Ohio, but at this point, we've got a pretty good shot of either being able to navigate through the clouds and actually see the eclipse, or we may get some high thin clouds, and I think we'd be able to see through that. So hope is still there. Here's your Union Home Mortgage forecast. We will see rising temperatures through the weekend with nice conditions, great for all of our visitors in town. After after the eclipse, temperatures stay on the mild side, close to 70 Tuesday. Then more rain showers moving in by the middle to end of next week, and we're going to hold very seasonable temperatures into next weekend. Jimmy.